and welcome to Intern Insights. I'm your host, Dr. Bruce Finkley. I'm the Mass Communication Internship Coordinator here at the University of Montevallo. Internships allow students in all academic disciplines to gain valuable real-world experience, and this web series is designed to highlight some of the interesting things that our MassCom interns are doing. On this episode, I'm joined by Kayla Gio, who's interning at 1025 The Bull. Hi, Kayla. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hi. Thanks for having me. I wanted to just start with what's a typical day like for an intern at 102.5? Well, um, a typical day, I usually have to be at the station by about 5.30, so I have to get up at about 4 a.m. to allow enough time to get there. Um, then from there, I do show prep in the mornings. I usually get together any content that's going to go on the show for the day that they need me to gather, and then after that, we run through the show. Um, after the show is over, if they need me to do anything for the next morning show, we work on it. And then, of course, I also do promotions as well. So um, at night, I have to go out and work concerts, different events. If there's any, um, like, expos that we have to be at or anything like that, I also have to work those too. So you have to go and interview famous people I do. and all that. I oh, do. It sounds it's, rough. It's rough. Very it's, rough. It's, Very rough. It's rough. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me how you decided that 1025 The Bull was where you wanted to intern at. Um, I actually applied at two different internships. I applied at CMT in Nashville and I applied at 1025. And um, I was actually offered an internship at CMT. And after speaking with them on the phone for a while and kind of getting a feel for the internship, I kind of felt more I was going to be more of like a paper stapler instead mm -hmm. of actually getting to do what I want to do with my life. And so um, I ended up going into 1025 and met with uh, Lacey Walker, the intern coordinator, and she showed me around the studio. And even though I wasn't getting paid, my experience there I felt like was going to be a lot better than just being another name and a face, you know, somewhere else. So it's so far it's worked out really well. I like it a lot. Well, good, good. Let's talk a little bit more about the actual application process because mm -hmm. every company operates a little bit differently. So. Describe what it was like actually applying for the internship with the radio station. Um, on their website, they actually had an internship section and they told you you need to email your resume and, uh, you know, basically why you want to intern here mm -hmm. at, um, at, the web, at the web address, which was Lacey Walker's email. And then after that, she emailed me back and we spoke back and forth for a while. Um, she kind of did an email interview with me, asked me a little bit about myself, what college I went to. And then she actually brought me in for an interview and talked to me, kind of felt out my personality to see if I would fit well there, um, kind of told me what my jobs would be. And I, I would basically be a part-time worker without getting paid. And then asked me if that was something I was interested in. And then that was it. And the rest is history, yes. as they say. Um, so you've got to meet some some pretty famous people have. with your internship, and you brought a few pictures for us. To look at. So let's take a look at those and talk about some of the, the fun folks that you've been able to hang out with. Um, every year, uh, 1025 The Bull hosts Heartstrings for Hope, which is um, a really great just time for different celebrities to come in and support St. Jude. And so this is an event that we got to do. and. Um, we had Joe Nichols, Dan and Shay, and Jared Neiman at the event, all doing an acoustic concert together. So I got to meet them and talk with them, and I actually got to speak with Jared Neiman for like an excess of an hour about wow. what I wanted to do like with my life and what my goals were for after my internship. And so he actually gave me some really good connections in the music business and is like, well, if that's what you wanna do, then let me introduce you to this person. This is the person you need to talk to. And then I was able to, um, the guy I met was, his name was Wiley. And so I actually got to meet with him and speak to him and gave me his phone number. And was like, if you ever need anything, just contact me. So not it was kind of, no, it was not there. bad. <laughs> <laughs> so who are some of the other famous folks you've got to see? Um, well, let's see. Uh, I actually got to meet Jennifer Nettles. She came in for a bull lounge. Uh, she's one half of Sugarland, and she broke off on her own. So I did get to meet her, and that was really fun. I kind of got to be her personal assistant for the morning. Um, so that was really interesting. I kind of got to see, like, the other side of it. Mm -hmm. And then um, this is recently. I got to meet Josh Turner. We have an incredible Tuesday night series, and we have a concert every single Tuesday night for eight straight weeks. And so I got to meet uh, Josh Turner. Yes, he does sound exactly like his singing voice, so that was great. But, um, I mean, everyone I've met so far has been fantastic, and everyone is just so down to earth, and 
um, they always ask me, they're like, well, why is, why are you not like super nervous when you meet him? And I'm like, well, they're just like me. They just make millions more. Yeah, that's the only difference. <laughs> the only difference bank so. account is so much larger. I so know, larger. I know. So <laughs> it's been fun though. I like it. Well, good, good. So the internship is designed to get you off campus, to get you experience that we can't really replicate here on, on our campus in our building. So now that you've been to the radio station, how does your experience there help you as a student when you're back here on campus in class? Well, it's it kind of helps me know exactly what my job is going to be. So it helps me a lot of times know what's gonna be expected of me outside of class. Mm -hmm. So then it actually helps me be prepared for what's expected in class, if that makes any sense. So I'm actually a little bit more prepared. I can, now that I can see hands on what I'm doing, it kind of translates with what I've been learning a lot. So I'm like, oh, that's what we were talking about in media law, or that's what payola is. I don't need to do that. So, you know, it kind of helps translate back and forth. And then I can come back and I can be like, oh yeah, I definitely know what that is. So I like, I mean, it, it's helped me a whole lot in the mass comm program. Well, good, good. So final question. What advice would you give to a fellow MassCom student who is interested in interning in radio? Um, radio is a lot different than you think it is. It's, um, it's changed a lot, especially even in the past five to eight years. So a lot of things that you think um, you're gonna get there, like my, the, I interned with Dollar Bill and Madison and they're not live in the morning. A lot of it's pre-recorded. So, you know, it's kind of different to see how all of it has changed from Bill telling me that they used to have to pull cartridges and like stack all the songs for the day. And um, so, I mean, definitely that, and definitely you have to be really professional with your internship because there's, a lot of things that it reflects on our university. So, and I've actually spoken with them and they're like, our interns from Montevallo are some of the best interns we've had so far. So, um, you know, yeah, program. that definitely like speaks well to our internship program and shows that we're definitely prepared for it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we just need to show that to everybody else. And also, you know, always be extremely honest with them about when you can work, when you can't work. They're, you know, as far as my internship goes, if I say, hey, Lacey, I can't work this weekend. I have a wedding to go to. She's like, oh, that's fine. As long as you don't tell me two days before you leave. Right. You know, I mean, they're very realistic. Just and how you would do it exactly. in a real job. You wouldn't just call one day and say, oh, I'm not coming in. Exactly. You, you and they're very considerate about, like, I love country music. So they're very considerate about, oh, well, let's put Kayla with country music events. Mm -hmm. Let's put our other interns that say, like the Vulcan, let's put them with Vulcan events or with 1037, let's put them with those events. So they're really considerate about that and then getting you actually where you wanna go. Awesome. Well, Kayla, thank you so much for stopping Thanks. by. That's it for this episode of Intern Insights. If you'd like more information about a MassCom internship opportunity, feel free to stop by my office in the MassCom building or you can email me at bfinkley at montevallo.edu. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.